Alrighty, look at that new bed I got for my dogs, guys. It's very important you guys see the new bed I got for my dogs. Look at this. Very important that we all see this. <laughs> Maybe that's too big. It broke again. Isaac? Isaac. Okay, it's not broken. You just guys are just really still. You guys are crazy. I, for a second, I thought, you need to take a get, man. If you've been home, working from home, get a new chair. It's definitely gonna... There's some nice, affordable chairs that are ergonomic, you know? You don't have to go too crazy. You don't gotta break the bank. You do not have to break the bank. Very nice. Oh. For me, it's the cleave, but. It just cleave. I mean, it's hard to say with rupture, man. Rupture has a lot of potential. I don't want that gold for this shop right here. That shop's gonna be beautiful. This shop right there's gonna be gorgeous. Can't wait. I have to leave go. What's up, Saron? Oh, hi. I'm looking at this card, I'm thinking, yes. The flat is so small that I act at the work in my bedroom as my partner gets to the main room. Can you squeeze a chair in there? Nice. Good start. These cards are interesting. How's Body Slam? Seems eh. A fold up desk, that's nice. I like that. That sounds cozy. A fold up desk sounds cozy. Well, check the check the Amazon.uk. I'm sure there's some um there's some nice shares you can find there. Some of them have some good policies. If you don't like it, you can return it, etc. You know, it's a pain in the ass, but you know, since it's a chair that you're going to be sticking with for a while, you want to make sure you enjoy the chair you get, you know? We have Flame Bear, so I wonder if Body Slam upgraded is like something to consider. Flame Bear and use Body Slam Plus on average. I'm thinking no, but maybe yes. I mean, well, oh my god, I'm yawning already, my bad guys, sorry. Oh, I mean, how do we feel about this Body Slam Plus? Should we experiment? Should we experiment? Not a good start. Oh, very nice. I was sick. Still in trouble.
Thunder Chunk, the Twitch Prime. Thank you, man. Welcome. Wow, Akabeko Fiendfire. I mean, you don't gotta say too much. You don't gotta say too much. Akabeko Fiendfire is nutty. That just becomes a key versus a candle. I feel okay about the key here. All right, blue candle. I mean, this was got a nice key for me, and it looks like we're gonna get a nice big shot, but then we're gonna go over another elite. Yes, sir. Vajra, blind, shockwave, removal. Looks like Vajra to me. Looks like a Vajra to me. There's also pellets. Pellets opens up a whole world of things. Pellets opens up a whole world of things. Hmm. Hmm. Would be nice as well. Blind plus is an insane card. Hand grade. Hand grade is not bad, but I have some two cost card shenanigans going on. We're going to be killing things with Fiend Fire pretty often with Akabeko. I think that I, um. I am curious about the orange plus. Orange plus is interesting. It doesn't really help me in these fights. I'm going to take this and go over the move. Let's go. Oh, bad, bad start. Nice. Power through. I think power through's nice. The body slam. This fight could be rough. Potential to be rough. Potential, but not really. Being fire is that good. Now we have things like Vajra and Limb Break as my scaling. Limb Break is being offered early. We do have a Vajra to begin with, and it's not it's not that far fetched. I don't know if I love it, but I don't hate it. It's also weaker, of course. Hmm. I mean, starting off with one strength. It's, 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 it's a start. It's a start. It's not the perfect limit break, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Hmm. Mm, anger. Anger's interesting here. Kind of dump our strength here. Kind of counteract some of this, the slimes that we're going to be getting. Anger is really calling out to me here. Hmm. Hmm. What's your idea, Pizza Monster? Sounds very strong. Sounds very strong. Do I like anger in this deck? I can't. I can't remove it that easily.
Well, I'm yawning like mad right now. Wow, my bad, guys. Okay. Anger, anger, anger. blood I can respect it rest guarantees this kill although I think we're going to be totally fine in this fight without resting but if I want to hold the blood pot rest guarantee guarantees the kill the question is if I want to upgrade living break which I don't necessarily want to upgrade it just yet with only one strength, you know? This this actually benefit me to draw it again. Mm. Um. Yeah. Let's just secure the victory here. Progressively. It's a good way to take advantage of Horn Fleet. Yo, Dark Spike. Hello. Welcome to Twitch Prime, buddy. Hello, hello. Hmm. Pilot's offering. Pilot's would have been interesting, but. Alright. Hungry is huge. I'll take the offering here. Offering with Fiend Fire is going to be massive. I'll take the Joker here. I don't want to lose my gold. Collector. How's our AoE for the Collector? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Our AoE for the Collector. Not there right now. It's not there right now. I would have lost my gold. I would have lost my gold. If I had ectoplasm. Big body slam. Uh oh, choker. Entrench. Entrench plus. Spot weakness versus disarm. Birds are going to die here really quite easily. I'm excited. That guy's dead. That guy's dead, and this guy's dead. Trivial, Mr. Watson. Card draw. I'll take Benjenic Strength. Black Marker Decal? Oh, shit. That's intriguing, dude. That's intriguing. Your drink shrink with limit breaks would be fun. I'm excited. Fiend fire here. I want to do fiend fire, but also I really want to do bash. I fiend fire now. Leads to GG. 
quite trivial. That's a sparkle down the drain. I would like a weaken, but it's also expensive. Okay, offering plus. Let's go. How much you want to trade for it, buddy? Are you even trading for it? Impervious. Massive. Untradeable. Yikes. Zagreus. Who's Zagreus? Look him up. Oh, Hades. Yo, Zagreus is a handsome dude, man. Take it as a compliment. I'll make an offer pizza later on today. She's my pseudo AoE right here. Pseudo AoE is flame barrier. I got a caliper, so the deck's already over. It's already game game over. I got a barricade here. Super ring to help my strength, absolutely. Also another Akabeko trigger. Oh, look at this. Oh my God, it's game over. Disgusting. Another spot weakness in a headbutt. Headbutts can be fantastic for limit break purposes. And some runs are just too too smooth, baby. Some runs are too smooth. 110 damage. Look at that. Look at that an entrench. Could have blocked for full, but I'll take a little bit of damage for no reason. There's the limit break. There's my AoE. Uh, Zinstein. I don't want to kill him, but uh, damage is pretty good. Lethal is right around the corner. Honestly, I meant to impervious, but it's okay. Watch me die because of that. Reaper. Empty cage versus Philosopher's Stone. If I do empty cage, I can get a small limit break and be really, really, really nasty with it. With Choker, I can't really use all my energy. So Flash for someone feels bad. I don't know. I mean, I could do 5 energy Choker, but it feels bad, right? I could do a 5 energy Choker, or I could just remove 2 strikes and then have myself a little small limit break deck with some, some decent block cards, honestly. Or do we just take the 5 energy and hope for the best? Not even hope, but just like, utilize 5 energy. Hmm. Hmm. A lot of money for the next shop. 
true removal. Is true removal really worth a whole another energy? Who would take Philosopher's Stone here? Most people, right? Most people. Philosopher's Stone is probably painful because I don't have uh, Disarm and... I don't know, the melty texture are already kind of bothering me. Most people would take Philosopher's Stone here. Yeah, I'm thinking that Choker and MTK is what I want to do because I have Choker, but... I mean, removing two strikes versus a whole other energy each turn is crazy, man. A whole other energy each turn... It comes with a downside, of course. Make the deck nice and small and cute. Oh, things like burns and wounds and stuff are going to be a bother. Now, we have the world which is our oyster here. Let's look for Mind Bloom. Let's go this way. Yeah, this game over. Matter of fact, this could be like a 30 minute uh, heart run. This could be a 30 minute heart run. And, um, we can do it. We can go for world record of. World record of most hearts in an hour, two hours. Oh yeah, I was thinking, I'm just a meme. I, was, I, saw, I saw a force in the stream. Um, do I want to just take the heal? How much do I value blood pot? Let me have Reaper. It's a fiend fire. Fiend fire versus like looking for cleave or something, right? I can also just do 16 AOE. Pseudo AOE is online. It's nice. Now we're in our cleave. And there's the cleave. Oh, what? <laughs> Who cares? Look at this, boys. Who cares? Look at us go. And now it's GG. I hope the game challenges a little bit more here. Very smooth so far. Big shot. You know how do we challenge ourselves? We take Prismatic Shard. The ultimate challenge. Yeah, I'll play Spirit Island, no problem. I like Lantern as well. Well, Lantern's okay. Not that great. Let's see something real quick. We can get Tiny Chest. We could get Tiny Chest here. Could be interesting. Is there another shop? I don't I really don't like this shop at all. Is there another shop? The shop is kinda lame, dude. This shop is kinda dookie. Why is this shop so dookie? Burning packed. If I can exhaust my deck down. I can exhaust my, I can exhaust my deck down to like an entrenched stuff. I'm gonna take this. Exhaust is very powerful. Duplicate, whoa. So we could duplicate Reaper, which is pretty decent because we have shit ton of strength scaling. And another Reaper just solves the game. You can also duplicate Impervious. But a duplicate Reaper kind of solves the game here. We need a tiny chest here. Let's do it. That's cool, Pizza Monster. Got five strength. Why are the quotes all messed up right now? What's going on?
the world's biggest waste of Akabeko Fiend Fire. Remember, I have Reaper, so... I can't do big spot, I tried. It doesn't work. Are we scared? Are we scared of this elite? Finding limit break right now would be very nice. No limit break. Very sad. Waste. No limit break again. Very sad. There it is. Reapers did. The deck's getting risky. The deck's getting risky. Catcher. Yikes. I suppose. Yeah, 
This is gonna this is this is very risky, this kind of deck. This deck where I do limit break and reaper to heal back up. It's very risky. Um I'm playing with fire here. I'm playing with fire. This is risky indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Yikes. Reaper exists. So it's fine. Big. Something clay is big. And now that I have entrenched for farming clay, the heart is looking like a, a different beast. So for me clay is large. Very large. Easy. Let us reaper. Let us reaper. I wish I had 5 energy a turn. Sort of upset that I didn't take the energy. A happy flower exists on the off turns. Limit break is more than a powerhouse. This is awkward. I'm gonna kill this guy when he has, uh. Like this. This is how we kill him. Way to win this run is just to level limit break as quick as possible. I like it. I like it. Let's go, guys. Mm, I don't like this turn though. I like Entrench, I'm gonna keep it. Take this hit. Reaper back up. Keep him previous for another turn. However. However. I mean, I can take this hit. I plan to probably use one Reaper anyways before this fight's over. Start exhausting down things I don't like about my deck. I'm gonna exhaust down all the bad stuff. Keep only the flame barrier. Or how about this? Let's let's achieve the memory shenanigans quickly. Quickly. favorite kind of deck but it works it's pretty evolved now at 
There it is. I wish I had more energy, guys. I wish I had more energy. Pervious is perfect here. Let's try to get involved in play. Evolve is in play. Gorgeous. And now we win. Yay. We want to get Reaper before the fight's over, yeah? It's a fair thing to say. Let's get Reaper. Reaper somewhere here. Reaper somewhere here. There it is. Perfect ink bottle. See, you don't gotta take long to do these things. Get a ball early, that'd be great, huh? Oh boy, this fiend fire is really bad. Not the worst, which is why I did it. First limit break, and we got evolve. Yay! Very nice. Next limit break. Yay! Are right, we having trench stuff coming up? Sick. Evolves in play. After this, um, we have limit break. And also, block for ten. next turn. Could die next turn.
still die next turn. Still die next turn. That's good to make sure I don't die. Death isn't fun. Let's see if our 10 HP matters though. Well, let's see. Because I don't really have that many upgrades. I could just rest to get an extra card, you know, but I guess Shockwave is an upgrade and so is Burning Pact. Do I want to go in this fight with 16 less HP? With the opportunity to Reaper? Like, is there any upgrade worth 16 HP here? Well, we could upgrade Shockwave for more weakened and vulnerable, which is pretty big on the heart. If I can get five turns of weakened and vulnerable on the heart, well, I can kill him with that, that time frame, most likely. It makes Reaper relevant in turn four and five. And the weakened, of course, is really nice. Although, this Shockwave is not going to do anything in Act 4 Elite. Act 4 Elite doesn't give a damn about it. Okay, we're Act 4 Elite. We're thinking about how we're going to die or not die. I guess Shockwave is the only upgrade for the heart because I really need the weaken. I need to find Shockwave immediately anyways. If I don't find this one the first... Like, if I don't get... I need to get weakened badly. If I don't get weakened in the first three turns, um... I hope I just go fast enough for Reaper to be relevant, but... I'm limited by energy. Like, I only have four energy, so if I want a Reaper, that's half my turn. Which is not good. Um, I need this. Dead branch. Um, who wants to do dead branch? I sort of like clockwork souvenir so that I don't get the um. I like clockwork for two things: ancient pot clockwork souvenir. I take this so I can get the strength, get limit break scaled. Done. No vulnerable against the heart and limit break scaling. That's perfect. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. We have 30 strength, boys. Just pointing it out there, we have 30 strength. Is Reaper now? How good does it feel to Reaper, boys? Be honest with me. Is this a strong boy or just a semi strong boy? What do you think? I got Anchor now. Oh my god, Dead Branch Corruption. Wait. Dead Branch Corruption was in this seed. Literally, you buy Dead Branch from the store and Corruption's here. What? You tricky, tricky little seed. Incredible. I skipped the difference. I said, listen, I want to get the artifacts for the vulnerable. I'm going to get the artifacts for the for the strength. Deverence Corruption was there. But it's funny, yes, we do have Choker. So Choker would have been really bad. Speaking of Corruption, though. I have a question mark over here. Um... Do I need corruption at some point? 
I'm going to Drake and Brace. Do I need corruption at some point? This is going to be a sub hour run, boys. I right, 45 minutes in. 45 minutes in. No, it wouldn't, Trance. It would not. Alright, guys. Let's think about this. We have 15 minutes to spare, so we still have within sub hour. So, what do we want? Do we think corruption makes sense in a Deco Choker like this? If I use corruption early in the fight, maybe. Hmm. Who's in favor of skipping here? So let's rank this, boys. I think skip is one. I think Bernie Pact is maybe two or three. I think corruption is actually four. Battle Church is probably four or five. Dragon Brace is two or three. They're kind of tied. I think Skip is the clear favorite, though. Do we have any suggestions in chat? Any thoughts? About. So, what this deck is doing is scaling insanely fast with the strength. It has dexterity as well. Take another Battle Trance. Yeah. We'll go with Warple. I gotta evolve early. It's important that I dig for limit break. Wow, we got disarm and shockwave. Whoa, we got the shockwave early. We got everything we wanted. We got everything we wanted early. And now I do this for the. Uh, I do the ancient part for the vulnerable, and we're just we're in there. I want to look. F oh shit. I'm looking for limit break. Do you want to disarm now? Are we scared about the attack? We have stuff from clay, right? We also have like we, we don't want to do disarm now, right? But how are we gonna get? Wait, how are we gonna get um? The artifact's off in the future, though. We won't. We gotta evolve. Oh my god, artifact. Wait, no, no, no. No, no shit. I had IRL distraction. You guys saw that? L came and asked for the card. Is that not is that not sensible? I literally bought this potion for everything, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, come on. What else can we do this ancient part on? What noise? Now legit L came in right as I was using my potions. It's the recycle it's the recycling. It doesn't matter anyways, but it's just like... Look at this damage. Look at that damage. 69 boys. Any 69ers? Heavy would be good, but I don't have limit break here. Any 120, any 129ers? Limit breaks are not here. There they are. Ah, limit break versus bash.
Uh, Stop isn't that important here, right? We have Reapers. It's gonna be hard to get a replay bash, unfortunately. Look at that free entrench. Um. All right, let's go for lethal, boys. Who's favorite lethal? Yeah, exactly. You don't want to use it for the no draw debuff, exactly. Want to swag this out, boys? Check this out. Never mind. <laughs> GG, GG, GG. I think we did it within an hour. Potion would have made no difference, though. Cool. Oh, we did it in 50 minutes. Hell, hell yeah, buddy. Hell yes.